Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. I have got a mother of all unboxings for you today. This is a motherboard, very kindly sent in to me by Biostar, free of charge for this video. I'm going to share with you my unboxing and first look. Now if you're into your gaming, especially gaming on a PC, uh, you may well be considering building a new system. And uh, we all know of late that AMD are really, really killing it with their uh, CPUs at the moment. Uh, this happens to be an AMD board. Uh, this is the Biostar Racing X470 GTQ and I can't wait to show it to you. Now this is a live broadcast so if you're watching live I can see plenty of you tuning in at the moment. Please do use the live chat or the super chat and if you're watching afterwards please do use the regular comment section below. Let's jump straight into it and take a look. First of all at the box of course so this is what the box looks like. You can see here Biostar Racing X470 GTQ. This is an AMD Ryzen 3000 uh, board, socket AM4. Uh, really uh, nicely presented. We just turn around on the back here. We just run through some of the specs here. Uh, we have got Fly.net, uh, which is the gaming LAN Dragon. Offers a sm smooth gaming user experience with low latency. Uh, we've also got LED uh, control on here as well. Dual BIOS protection, which is really good to see. And it supports DDR4 memory. This is the main specs. I won't run through it all because you can pause the video and, um, and read this for yourself. But of note, USB 3.1 Gen 2. Uh, we've also got uh, four USB 3.1 Gen 1s, DVI, D Connect, HDMI, and two of those USB 3.1 Gen 2s. Uh, also audio jacks of course and gigabit ethernet so that's the box and the specs inside you do get a driver disc I never use these I always download the latest drivers quick installation guide uh, Biostar actually do really nice installation guides uh, very clear to follow uh, we get some uh, SATA cables here as well and of course the pressed metal uh, IO uh, IO backplate. I like it when I'm seeing the motherboards now, or some motherboards, including a much more rigid design with this built onto the motherboard. But alas, we're still on the um, the backplate here. So let's take a look at the motherboard itself. So this is what it looks like. Very nice design, very nicely laid out. It's becoming a little bit closer for you. Uh, again, not going to run through everything here, but if we just tip this up very carefully on its end you can see that uh, rear IO panel we've got the USB uh, 3 ports PS2 we've got DVI-D HDMI Ethernet and the audio ports uh, nicely laid out of course as expected uh, with with any motherboard but especially with um, uh, with Biostar so here we've got the memory sockets here we've got so this is nice because where we've got some heat shielding We've got this sort of carbon fiber effect which really ties in with the racing uh, moniker on this board. Same here, we've got this uh, heat shield here and we've got some uh, nice sort of carbon fiber effect in both black and white. And then also just here, we've got racing uh, sort of printed on top of this shield. Uh, we've got the socket, of course, for the uh, CPU. Uh, RAM sockets I've already mentioned, PCI Express sockets as well all really nicely laid out also of note even in the background printed onto the, the the black area just here we have got like a racing type flag so apart from the great features on the board you are getting a really nice looking board as well very well engineered packed full of features and this will be great for your next build if you're using an AMD 3 series processor a uh, little bit older than some boards of course we're now on to, to slightly newer chips uh, but very very affordable uh, and this will make for, for a very robust uh, build that uh, dual BIOS uh, dual protection technology uh, actually offers a backup of the BIOS chip uh, so if the if the main BIOS fails it will actually uh, take over and recover the system automatically so that's really good it saves you having to sort of dismantle your system and send this off for any sort of repair also DDR4 uh, memory support 
uh, that's a, a higher module density, lower voltage requirements and a faster data transfer rate with regards to memory support. Uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2, latest uh, sort of versions of USB on here as well. Overall really great build uh, or great base for your next uh, Windows PC build. Uh, so that's it for my first look. I think it's a great choice if you're looking for an AMD board and uh, I've left links to where you can actually pick up one of these for yourself down in the video description. Before I finish the video, uh, let's say a big hello to those of you tuned in live. I can see Paul first in the live chat. Thanks for tuning in, Paul. I really do appreciate it. A uh, little treat for you. Uh, that uh, For those of you that actually stay always the end of the videos, uh, I quite often do this. So if you do watch my videos regularly or you're new, uh, then stay tuned to the end because sometimes I give you some insight on videos that are coming up later. Uh, today I have got a really good gaming keyboard and gaming mouse uh, from QPad so do stay around for that that's coming up today and then uh, latter part of this week Skull Candy a really special video with all of their latest in-ear earphones in one video and then going through to next week we have got something special from Logitech coming up and also mid next week one of your favorite video series I'll give you a moment to see if you can guess in the comments section what that might be. But mid next week, one of your favourite video series. Of course, it's another mega gadget collection coming up next week. Can't wait to share that with you. But back to the Biostar Racing motherboard. Again, if you want to check out all of Biostar's range, uh, of which there are plenty, then please do check out the link to the Biostar website down in the video description. And if you want to buy this particular board for your next PC build, then please do check out the links to where you can buy this. They're also down underneath this video. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I am really honoured that you tune in live. Uh, Geek and Noise has been going for so, so many years now. Um, I think it's in the 14th year. Uh, many of you have been watching from day one and the Geek and Noise community is absolutely brilliant. So if you've got any questions or any comments about this motherboard, or indeed just sort of computing or technology in general, please do use the comment section uh, down below. Uh, you'll find that I reply a lot, uh, and you'll also find that other members of the community also reply and help answer your questions. Uh, so that really is it for this video. Do check out, I'll just give you one last look at this pick this up very carefully do check out uh, this board you can find the full specs and everything on the Biostar website it's really well designed packed full of features and as I mentioned earlier it would be a great base for your next gaming PC build so thanks very much for watching everyone I will see you in another video very extremely very very soon <laughs>